The fundamental difference between what we do and what the rest of the world does really lies in this tank. When stem cells are stored in a tank like this, they're typically taken out, thawed, and given straight to a patient. The difficult questions we have to ask ourselves, which is, is it really a good idea? And is it really more efficacious to use cells that come straight out of a freezer? It's like the Wendy's question. Do you like your cells fresh or frozen? Come on, I'll take you on a tour and explain to you the rest of the story. Well, the answer really lies here. It's the production process of making stem cells. Just like any medicine, we have to get to a point as an industry to be able to study and utilize cells that we know are going to work and we know are gonna be safe. So how do we do this at HOPE? At HOPE Biosciences, we have developed a proprietary way to first extract the stem cells that matter. These are called the mesenchymal stem cells, and we find them in our own bodies. Now we use your own stem cells because we believe that you're going to need more than one injection of your own stem cells over time. And if that happens, then reintroducing your own genetic material back into your body is the safest way to approach this. Granted, in other studies that we do, we often use donor cells as well, but that it happens really in a situation where an individual does not have their own stem cells banked. Speaking of banking, have you ever heard of stem cell banking? You won't, you, you can't imagine how many calls we get from people who have banked their cells in public banks, such as cord blood banking uh, processes, and they ask us if those stem cells are usable. In most of these banking situations that bank either blood or tissue, they're simply banking sources of stem cells. It's really no different than you going to, uh, to get blood, you know, draw blood and then putting it in the freezer. Yes, there are stem cells in that blood, but you're essentially banking just the blood itself. So what happens? You're really, you're, you're really depending on what does that blood or tissue contain after you thaw it out? And oftentimes that answer is very disappointing. So we here are focused only on pure stem cell manufacturing. So we are taking stem cells from live tissue, then we're actually harvesting those cells and then culturing them. The culturing part is the fun part and that's really what our technology is based on. We create pretty much infinite quantities of these very stem cells that we know can do a variety of different functions in the body that can help with numerous diseases and conditions in the future. What you bank really does matter. Banking pure stem cells is what we do here. We bank the pure stem cells into what's called a master cell bank so that every time you need your cells, we simply will extract some cells from the master cell bank and make new cells. We essentially create stem cells on demand whenever you need them. So that idea that a football player on the field suddenly gets a concussion, can have access to their stem cells, can be a reality. Um, are we doing that today? We absolutely are. And we do that through standardized clinical trials because we need data. We need a lot of data with a lot of patients and a lot of participants receiving their cells so that body of data can actually show us and provide evidence for the safety and the efficacy of these cells so that one day when you receive your cells, you will have a good idea of what they will do in your body. And that's really the the most important part to, to any treatment you seek, right? When you go to get a surgery, you want to find the right surgeon to do your to give you your procedure. And uh, just like all the medicines that we are, you know, blessed to have access to here in the United States, you know, have gone through rigorous testing. So we're doing the same. And at Hope, we are determined to make this a reality. Thanks, guys.